There's a couple, oh wait, before I do anything. This is very trendy, how do I look? This is Instagram. I'm current, folks. Don't go by my hair color. All right, now listen. This is hysterical. You gotta see this. These are some magazines I got from Don Price at St. Lawrence Restoration. These are 1914. These are some of his newer ones. <laughs> by the way, if you ever need a Riva refinish, that's the guy. He did a lot of great work for me over the years. He's got a place in Boca, and I was at his house, and he showed me these magazines. I said, I gotta borrow these, because I gotta tell you some stories. This is Cox and Stevens. Now, I don't know if you know that name, but they're really big in engineering. They do ships and everything. This is them in 1914, okay? Do you know what their concern is? The competition. Listen to this. If you wish to build, buy, or charter a yacht of any description, you should realize first how important it is to deal with a reliable naval architect or yacht broker. See, they still had the problem even back then. Those awful competitors. Second, how impossible it is by advertising to mention more than a few among the hundreds of desirable boats out there. Wouldn't you think they'd be surprised to find out there's $15 billion worth of boats on the market right now? Third, how much trouble you would save yourself by communicating with only one reliable firm. Oh, don't you wish. Jeez, like, I always ask people, are you seeing another broker on the side? And, and you have to trust the advice of the broker. Do you know anybody who listens to anybody, anybody? I try to tell people, I said, listen, if you do this, that's going to, oh, no, I, <laughs> they have the problem. Then they, and when you say something, they go, no, I don't remember you ever saying that. But as you look through this, now, where do you see this one? You like performance? Everybody likes performance. Where do you see this thing? Where is this little beauty? Horsepower to weight ratio. You know what that is? That's important in designing boats. Look at this. This is the Roberts. This is the Roberts speedboat. Now, wait till I tell you about this beauty. This will get you. The Sweet 16, probably 16 foot, with a 40 horsepower engine, okay, does 36.7 miles an hour with a 40 horse engine. So, like, in today's world, that'd be like if, if we had 1,900 horse cats, we'd be doing like 1,800 miles an hour. Hello, I go, holy cow. And then, uh-oh, uh remember I told you earlier about the deep V where it was invented and that was hand complained about the competitors? Look at this. Here's a knockoff, here you go. A knockoff competitor for the deep V, the Doyle V bottom, 460 bucks. That doesn't sound too bad. Jeez, I wonder what that'd be in today's dollars, probably 1,500. Where's the other one I saw that I thought you'd enjoy? This is cool, Cox and Stevens. Where's this beauty here? Oh, do you like to read? Look at this. You got to get this book. This is going to be a bestseller. It's Winston Churchill's new book. Now, this is 1914. This is before World War I. And this is a, it's based upon a biblical quotation concerning the prodigal son. You see, God, they used him back then, too. Who took his journey into a far country, maybe that's America, and there he wasted his substance in riotous living. I mean, geez, even back then, those people knew how to have a good time. So you're not, you're not, uh, you know, you're not inventing anything. I got one more I just wanted to show you. Oh, my God, you wouldn't believe these engines. Engines, engines everywhere. Where was my last one? Cox and Stevens. By the way, if you don't know it, Cox and Stevens just bought out uh, Donald Blount, which Donald Blount has probably been the guru of performance yachts and sports fish for the last 30 years, and, and he's really uh, been a dean in that part of the industry, and, and Cox and Stevens, that's pretty impressive. They've been around 100 years. I mean, Hargrave, we're just basically starting out. We've only been here 60 years, 60-some like years. Well, I can't find the other one. But the other one was a steel boat for $99. Now, $99, that's value. I'm a value actor. And it's unsinkable. Don't you think that's pretty cool? How do you make a steel boat unsinkable? Well, we'll save that for another story about where technology really came from. So that's the history. That's the story. I'm Mike Joyce.